together with our hellish hate. We'll burn you all. That is your fate. Things that go bump in the night. What the Jesus? Me, a jerk. Shh, <laughs> <Sandy. laughs> Okay. Shrunken head, broken legs, body parts on the concrete. Cut them up, butcher style, gators in the swamp. Red light, leave them dead, running like a track meet. Scared of nobody. What you know who I am? Want. Give any idea who you're fucking talking to. Or maybe you saw me in the playoffs. Cause I played for the fucking the goddamn champions. Cooking meat, cannibal, trying to eat. I got a zombie on me, and you can't harm me. Hey, yeah, who do your voodoo, bitch? Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do your voodoo? Stand up! Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Whoa! Who do your voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do your voodoo, bitch? Let's go! Sam B to Papa Shango, I'm bearing some eighty. Handful of fingertips, toss them up like confetti. Stay full of corpse bitches, I'm a pimp of the dead. Come fuck with a Another zombie, drunk put a stick in your head. Look, kid. you want ghouls like a fucking Stupid school. Get. Maybe everybody dies, I'll see your ass real soon. Crack bones to the mirror, hot sauce, and they suck it. Now my juju ain't nothing to fuck. Sir, looks like you've had enough. What's your room number? Who do your voodoo, bitch? I'll make sure you get there safe and sound. Who do your voodoo, bitch? Stand up! Sam B got the thing that go bump in the night. Who do your voodoo, bitch? Hide your kids, grab your wife, better get out of sight. Who do your voodoo, bitch? Let's go! Excuse me, lady. Are you okay? Uh, can you hear me? What are you doing, sir? This is the woman's restroom. I got a zombie on can't harm me. Who do your voodoo, bitch? Excuse me, sir. Are, are you okay? Who do your voodoo, bitch? I rip your arms off with my bare hand. Who do your voodoo, bitch? Smack your mama. Who do your voodoo, bitch? I grew up in New Orleans, Lower Ninth Ward. My daddy went to prison when I was two. That's where he died. I can go. Mama didn't never recover from that. Just drank and did crack. And any random motherfucker who didn't smack her around too bad. My nana the one who raised me. She run the Walsh Interior. We lived in a little shotgun house on Burgundy. From the time I was 10, man, I want to rap. I was into old school freestyle rap. And I'd be kicking ass at them battles, bro. But man, just couldn't catch a break. Nothing caught on. So, one Halloween, I come up with, Who do you voodoo, bitch? Just as a motherfucking joke, you know? <laughs> We're right to the top of the hip hop charts like a motherfucking rocket. And suddenly, I was famous. Going to the Grammys, hitting the parties, 
Man, I had bitches up to yin yang. And for the first time in my life, I was making money. Shit. I was spending it as quick as I was getting it. I thought I'd made it, you know what I'm saying? That that grave train wasn't there going in. So I did another song. And another song. And nothing hit. Nothing fucking hit. Song after song, and ain't nobody give a shit. Been 10 years, man. Yeah, I can still get gigs, but all they want me to do is, who do you voodoo, bitch? I used to play the big casinos in Vegas or Atlanta City. Now it's just Reno or Laughlin. Some motherfucking cruise ship. So this gig here might be my last chance. I mean, there's some heavy Hollywood hitters up in there. If I could notice, yeah, I could be right back up on top there. You know what I'm saying? Let's open this up. Good. I'll introduce myself later. Right now, 
Take a look. Bloody executioner. Sweet Mary Mother. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinema Wayne. Those things came for us, and Cinema Wayne went out to kill them alone. Why won't anyone help him? You can't just let him die out there. He saved your life. You owe him your life. Why won't anyone do anything? You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Why won't anyone do anything? This is fucking crazy. On three. One, two, fuck it, three!
the last one? Okay then. Thanks, mates. We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. I found you. You beat up pretty bad. Hell yeah. and go with you for a while. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. Then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Like, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Uh-huh. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room, with all the commotion I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. This is the end of day. Yeah, everybody was... Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Yeah. Ah, uh, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, <laughs> where the hell else am I gonna go? Oh, oh. 
Brother, Jesus Christ! What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will stop at nothing to protect their criminal enterprise. As a precaution, I will be leaving a trail of recordings wherever I go so that if something were to happen to me, the truth would still be told. I'm leaving now to meet with an informant who I believe could rip the lid off of this investigation. I told you to stay away. Why wouldn't you listen to me? <laughs> like a motherfucking postcard.
right is you're immune to this. No We've thanks got to, to take you. advantage of that. I didn't see you out there. You did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. We are not safe here, mate. Okay, you ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Yep. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you hadn't come along. Y you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the Water Sports Rental Kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. There's a table inside you can use to repair your weapons. Look, take whatever you want. I have to get some rest. Rest up and then head out to meet my wife. I would have died out there without you.
hang tight, okay? We're coming right now. Everybody, pack up. We're on our way. Watch the road. We'll be there soon. Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. Help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you can see if anybody needs help. <laughs> 